Hi everyone, my name is Scott Helm and I'm here at Go to Copenhagen. I'm about to give my talk today on the final day of the conference. Now the talk is called Crypto Heist and this is the first time really that I'm telling the story of a really big cyber attack that I investigated several years ago. Now it's called Crypto Heist because the cyber attack in question was something that we call crypto jacking, which is where attackers find a way to inject malicious JavaScript into a website and they use that JavaScript to run a crypto coin miner in the browsers of all of the visitors. Now, of course, if you can get your malicious JavaScript to mine this cryptocurrency into tens or hundreds or even thousands of other websites, then all of the visitors to those websites will mine cryptocurrency and send it to the attackers. Now, this particular attack that we uncovered and investigated impacted government websites. So it was a third party supplier of a JavaScript library that was compromised and they injected their malicious JavaScript into the library that was then loaded into thousands and thousands of these government sites. So we uncovered this attack in 2017, 18 period when these kinds of attacks were running very prominently and we investigated how did the breach occur? How did all of these websites get impacted by this attack? Of course, we discovered the supply chain compromise. How many websites were impacted? We had to go out and look for the thousands and thousands of victims of this attack and eventually disclose this to the government organizations involved and help them work through the remediation to a solution. So in the talk, we're going to look at the initial discovery, and this was actually discovered by accident. So I got a tip off um, from somebody's antivirus program that was alerting them when browsing government sites that there was a virus on the page. We go through the investigation steps. How do we find the initial source of the compromise? Where did this JavaScript come from? Through to finding those thousands and thousands of sites impacted and eventually informing the relevant government agencies to this. So in the talk, we'll look at the response as well. So how do organizations respond to an attack like this? What is the, the first steps that you take in the immediate aftermath? But then also we look at what else these attackers could have done because they had the ability to inject arbitrary JavaScript into these thousands and thousands of websites. And if I gave you the ability to inject any JavaScript that you wanted into thousands of government websites, what would you do with it? because I'm not sure that running a crypto miner would be the top of my list. When you think about all of the evil, malicious things that you could do, I could think of something very damaging that I could do with that. So we discussed some of the other opportunities that these attackers had, the kind of things that they could have done. And then we look at defense mechanisms, the remediation. How do we, of course, in the initial aftermath, fix the problem? How do we stop this right now? But then going forwards, how do we stop this happening again, because if you're loading JavaScript from third parties, which I think all of us do, then this could just happen again, right? Like we could be in the same situation where a different dependency gets compromised, their JavaScript changes to include malware, crypto miner, you know, it could even be ransomware if things got really bad. How do we stop that happening again in the future? So we're gonna go through all of these things, look at the real damage of this attack and how do we stop this happening again in the future. So I'll hope you drop by, watch the full version of my talk online, and perhaps I'll see you at the next event.